Hi, in this video we're going to convert polar coordinates into Cartesian coordinates. So, find the Cartesian coordinates of the following points written as polar coordinates. This first one is 5 pi by 6 and the second one is 9 minus 2 pi by 3. Now the secret for doing this is um, a, this the first number here represents r, the length of the line, and the angle here represents the angle from the positive x-axis measured uh, clockwise and anti-clockwise from minus uh, 180 to uh, 180, uh, sorry, minus pi to pi in radians. Now the secret for doing this type of uh, question is to draw a diagram. Okay, first one straightforward. You might find this useful for writing in South Asian tennis club sine is positive, all is positive, tangent is positive, and cosine is positive. Okay, so we need a angle here of pi by six. So the angles always start from this axis here. They go round up to here to pi, and then round here to minus pi. So pi by six is here. It's the same as thirty degrees. It doesn't have to be an accurate dot, uh, angle. Draw a straight line of length uh, P and the X coordinate we get by doing R cos theta because that's what it would be. It would be R cos of this angle. So that's going to be 5 cos pi by 6. Now, it's, we're okay in the first quadrant because everything is positive. So 5 cos pi by 6. And uh, cos of pi by 6 is root 3 over 2. Expected to use exact form. So it will be 5 root 3 over 2 will be the x coordinate. And then to find the y coordinate, our sine theta. This one is sine theta. That will be 5 sine pi by 6. Sine of pi by 6 is a half. So it's 5 times a half, which gives me 5 over 2. Therefore, 5 pi over 6 has Cartesian coordinates. 5 pi over 2, comma, 5 over 2. Right, let's now do the second one, which is 9 minus 2 pi by 3. This is even more important that you draw a diagram on this one. So it's r theta is the format. So drawing a diagram. Okay, uh, so we're going to do minus pi by 3. So that'll be around from here. Okay, so knowing your angles and radians will be this. And a length of line 9 units. Okay, good idea to work out what this angle would be here for when we work out the uh, using the angle. So x will be r cos theta. So that will be uh, 9 cos of pi by 3. But because um, cosine is negative in that quadrant, we need to put a minus sign in front, which will be minus 9 1 half, which will give me minus 9 over 2. And here we have y is equal to r sine theta. Again, sine is actually negative, so it will be minus 9 sine pi by 3, which is minus 9, and sine of pi by 3 is root 3 over 2. So that will be minus 9 root 3 over 2. Therefore, 9 minus 2 pi over 3 has coordinates. Cartesian coordinates, minus 9 over 2, minus 9 root 3 over 2. And don't forget here, we would expect both the coordinates here to be negative when they come out as the final answer. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to change polar coordinates into Cartesian coordinates. In the next video, we'll look doing it the other way around. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.